Hello and welcome to Tenable, the show where naming a top ten can win you a top cash prize. For example, if asked for the UK's top ten board games and you said Monopoly, then you'd be hot property. But if you said Battleships, you'd sink without a trace. <laughs> the more top tens our team can beat, the greater their jackpot will be. So let's beat today's team. It's the powers that be. <laughs> Hello there, the powers that be. So what's with the name? So my surname is Powell, so is my sister's, and we're a family team. And um, yeah, hopefully these guys are going to be my brain power today. Great stuff, team. Let's power into the game. <laughs> OK, the powers that be, it's time to release the first question. Top ten names given to baby girls that begin with the letter P. So, Darcy, as captain, you need to choose the best <laughs> teammate for this one. OK. Uh, I think we're going to choose Lucy for this one. Come on, Lucy, it's time to play Tenable. Go on, Lucy. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. Welcome to the game. Hello. Well... So, what do you do for work? So, I'm a history teacher. I work in a oh. secondary school. Do you enjoy that? Absolutely love it, yeah. I wouldn't change it. I, I really, really enjoy my job. It's great. Are your students well behaved? They are well behaved, yes. There's a Is that few because challenging you're strict? Ones. I am quite strict, but I'm nice as well. <laughs> ah, <okay. laughs> so imagine I was one of your students now, if I was being a little bit naughty. <laughs> I'm not listening at all. How would you tell me off? How would I tell you off? Well, I'd have to go through the behaviour policy first, Texting. Warwick. Texting. <laughs> I'd say, um, excuse me. Yep. Oof, and I'd give them the that's stare. That's scary. <laughs> okay, Lucy, let's topple this tower. Here's how the game works. You need five tenable answers to put £1,000 into your prize fund and guarantee your place in the final. Now, Lucy, you have one life, so you can make one mistake, but any more than that and you're out of the game. The team has three nominates to use across the show. If you can't think of an answer, you can nominate a teammate to provide one for you. Also, your cousin Darcy can overrule one of your answers. Here's your question again. Top ten names given to baby girls that begin with the letter P. I'll just clarify this for you. We're looking for the ten most popular first names, beginning with the letter P, that were given to baby girls born in England and Wales in 2020. This is according to the Office for National Statistics data, published in October 2021. So when you're ready, let's get your first answer on the board. OK. I have got a few ideas, but that's the good thing about being a teacher. You can kind of think of some mm. students' names. <laughs> um, OK, I'm going to go with Poppy for my first choice. Let's have a look. Is Poppy the first tenable answer? Oh. There it is, at the top of the tower. <laughs> Scary, isn't it? Well done, Lucy, that's great. So 1,838 girls were named Poppy. Any Poppies watching? Hello, Poppy. <laughs> OK, right, second answer. Mm. I'm going to go for Polly. Is Polly tenable? <laughs> well, there's Polly at the bottom of the list. <laughs> there's 240 Pollys. So what's your next answer? Penelope. Is Penelope tenable? Oh, 1,020 Penelope's. I think I've got another one. Oh, yeah, that's hope crazy. it's on the board. OK, I'm going to go with Phoebe. Is Phoebe tenable? <laughs> yes, well played. Good work, Lucy. OK, right. So look at this, you're one away from £1,000 and that place in the final. This is your last chance to nominate and also Darcy's last chance overall. OK. I'm going to go for... Penny. For £1,000 and a place in the final, is Penny the fifth tenable answer?
So that reassuring racket means you've got five <laughs> tenable answers. So you've won a place in the final <laughs> and £1,000 for your prize fund. Well done, Lucy. OK. Now, you can stop here if you wish, but there are still five answers left to reveal. If you think you know more, you can continue. Your next tenable answer is worth £2,500. But be warned, if you play on, you'll be on your own. You can't nominate anyone to help you, and your cousin's overall button is deactivated. You've still got a life, so you can make one mistake. I think... I'm going to go for... Primrose. For £2,500. Is Primrose tenable? So, Lucy, how many primroses do you think there are? I don't know. How many, Warwick? It's 320. Oh. OK. Your next correct answer is worth £5,000. OK, right. I think this is a bit of a out there one, but I'm going to go for it because I've got nothing to lose. Um, no. I'm going to go for Parry. For £5,000. Is Parry tenable? Untenable, Lucy. <laughs> so you've lost your life now. OK. Be really careful. Another incorrect answer means you'll have a date with the Vortex <laughs> and you'll lose the money you've banked, the £2,500. Yeah. OK. Definitely don't want to lose that money and I really want to sit back with, with my family over there, so I think I'm going to, um, yeah, bank it. And OK, back. so you've decided to take the money. Yeah. We'll add the £2,500 to your prize fund and you'll be joining your Captain Darcy in the final. Before you sit down, let's reveal these missing answers. Behind number nine is... Paige. Of course. Number eight, Piper. Number five, Paisley. Number four is Pippa. So that's the list. Well, Lucy, you've done very well. You've added £2,500 to your prize fund and you'll return later on to play for it in the final. Brilliant. Congratulations. Well played. Thank you very much. Yeah. Team, look at this. You've got £2,500 in your prize fund, but can you add to that? It's time to look at your next list. Ten cooks buy their cookbooks. So, Darcy, who's the best teammate for this one? It's going to be Bryony. Bryony, please come to play Tenable. <laughs> Bryony, welcome to the game. Thank you. So, what do you do? I'm a primary school teacher in Liverpool. Another teacher? Yep. No. Tell us what they call you at school. Miss Powell. Well, that's what they say to your face. Yes. <laughs> yes. They do try and guess my first name a lot. All right, Miss Powell. <laughs> you know, my nickname's Dubai, because I'm small and hot. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Bryony, time to light up your list. Here's your question. Ten cooks buy their cookbooks. And I'll clarify this. The Tenable Tower will show the titles of ten cookbooks and the year each of them was published. We're looking for the names of the ten cooks that wrote each of the cookbooks. Okay. So that's it. Yep. And here are your ten clues. The Hand and Flowers Cookbook. Taste of the Sea. Cook, Eat, Repeat. Time to Eat. Fast Cakes. White Heat. Happy Days with the Naked Chef. The River Cottage Cookbook. The Practical Cook. And How to Cook. So there are the ten cookbooks. Yep. Let's get your first cook on the board. OK. For the Happy Days with the Naked Chef, I'm going to go with Jamie Oliver. OK, let's have a look. Is Jamie Oliver the first tenable answer? <laughs> yeah, that's a fucker answer. Well done. Thanks. Let's get your next answer. OK. I'm going to go with Mary Berry. Is Mary Berry tenable? <laughs> it's Mary Berry, well done. Thanks. OK. Doing really well. Right. I'm going to go for next... Gordon Ramsay. Is Gordon Ramsay tenable? That's 
untenable. Oh, no. So you've Ooh. lost your life now, Brani. Be careful. Keep you up there. OK. I'm going to use a nominate now, um, and that might just kind of give me okay. a little idea. Who would you like to nominate? Yeah. I would like to nominate my sister Darcy, you know, the very good cook. Darcy, can you help your sister? Yeah, I think um, Taste of the Sea is Rick Stein. So okay. Darcy thinks Rick Stein. Do you agree? Yes, I'll take that, please. You trust Darcy with this? Yes. OK. To keep you in the game, yeah. is Rick Stein tenable? <laughs> yeah, that's tenable. Well done. Well done, Darcy, as well. Okay. Good use of the nominate there. Thanks. OK, we've got three on there now. Yeah, but remember, you've lost your life, so be really careful. Yes. OK. I'm going to go for Delia Smith. Is Delia Smith tenable? <laughs> yes, she is. Well done, Brian. Well done. Well, you're one correct answer away from £1,000 okay. and the place in the final. Okay. You've lost your life, so do be careful. I'm going to go for the Hairy Bikers. For £1,000 and your place in the final, is the Hairy Bikers tenable? Oh, no. Oh, well, sadly, you haven't added any money to your prize fund or secured a place in the final. Bad yeah. luck. Okay. Before we say goodbye, though, let's yeah. reveal these missing cooks. So, team, I'm looking at you now. Any ideas? Lisa? The practical cook, because of the date, would probably be Fanny Craddock, maybe. Let's see. Who wrote The Practical Cook? Fanny it is Fanny Craddock. That's what you said, wasn't it, Lisa? Yeah. The River Cottage Cookbook was by Hugh Fernley Whittingstall. White Heat was written by... Marco Pierre White. Oh. And Time to Eat was from Nadia Hussein from Bake Off. Mm. Cook, Eat, Repeat. Clever title. Who's that from? Nigella Lawson. And The Hand and Flowers Cookbook. Tom Kerridge. I'm sure they all look familiar, don't they? Yes, they do. Well, Bryony, it saddens me to say you are terrible at Tenemal. Goodbye. Goodbye. As she tiptoes into the vortex. Be afraid, very afraid. <laughs> Coming up, the powers that be try to bank more cash. Wait right there and continue to stare. <laughs> Welcome back to Tenable, where this top team have been battling our boards. Lucy has made it through to the final and they've banked £2,500 but they have lost teammate Bryony. Let's get straight on with our next Tower of Ten. The ten chemical elements in the title of at least one UK top 20 single. So, Darcy, who's the best person for this one? Uh, it's going to be Jodie. Jodie, it's time to play Tenable. Jodie, were you terrified or furious? Couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah, they're both. <laughs> I've never seen anyone look quite like that on Tenable. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Jodie, what's your job? Um, I'm a teacher as well. Oh, <laughs> I'm wow. a secondary school teacher. I teach geography. So how many kids are you responsible for? Um, lots. So I teach lots of different um, year groups from Year 7 all the way to Year 11. You know, I'm responsible for ten penguins. <laughs> Ate a whole packet during Loose Women. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Jodie, let's take that screen and turn it green. OK. You know the rules. Five tenable answers will earn you a place in the final and add £1,000 to the prize fund. You've got a life and two nominates and your captain, Darcy, can overall one of your answers. Yeah. Here's your question again. The ten chemical elements in the title of at least one UK top 20 single. And I'll clarify this. We're looking for the ten different chemical elements which feature in the title of at least one single that reach number 20 or higher in the UK singles chart. This is according to the official charts company, 
and is as of the 13th of December 2021. So good luck with this, Jody. Thank when you're you. ready, let's get your first answer on this board. Okay, so I cannot think of song title, so I'm going to have to do it kind of the other way around and think mm. of elements. Just hope that they are on the board. Um, oxygen. Is oxygen tenable? Okay, yes, it is. Good. From the song Love Is Like Oxygen. Right. By Sweet. OK. At least I've got one. So, I'm not sure if it's an element. Mm, don't say it then. <laughs> <laughs> gold? Is gold tenable? Yes, there it is. Gold. By Spandau Ballet, got to number two. Of course, yes. Um, OK, so I'm thinking... Gold, silver? Is silver tenable? <laughs> yeah, that's up there. Not bad now, actually. Silver by 100 Reasons was a number 15 hit in 2002. OK. Fact. I think, at this point, I'm going to nominate just to get some ideas. Who would you like to nominate? I think Lisa. Well, Lisa, can yes. you help? I think so. Do you um, know your elements? Yeah, uh, titanium. Ooh, without hesitation. So what do you think of that, then? Yeah, I know the song. I won't sing it, <laughs> but I do know the song. I'd love to take that, please. Thank you. So, Lisa, can you sing the song? It's Titanium. <laughs> can we check the glazing, please, on the studio? <laughs> OK, so we're going to go with Titanium. Let's see. Is Titanium tenable? Fantastic. Mm -hmm. There it is. Well done. Well, thank you for that, Lisa. That was by David Guetta. Well done. Good use of the nominate there. And thank you for that, Lisa. Good work. So look at this. You're one away from £1,000 and a place in the final now. Still got your life, but this okay. is your last chance to nominate. OK, again, the songs just aren't coming to me. I'm going to just say an element that I think might be in a song. So I'm going to go with lead. For £1,000 and your place in the final, is lead in this list? Yeah! There it is. That's the exciting. That marvellous melody means you've got five tenable answers. Yes! And you won a place in the final. <laughs> Pencil Full of Lead by Paolo Nutini. <laughs> So, well done. Congratulations, <laughs> Jodie. I take it you're pleased. <laughs> over the moon. Shocked, but over the moon. <laughs> yeah. Very good indeed. So, we're adding £1,000 to your prize fund. Well done. Now, you can stop here if you wish, but there are still five answers left to reveal. If you think you know more, you can play on. Oh. Your next correct answer is worth £2,500. But be warned, if you choose to play on, you'll be on your own. You've still got a life, so you can make one mistake. OK, I'm so going to keep going, do? definitely. Keep going. Yeah, I'm Suddenly on a... Suddenly confident about I'm this. I'm on a roll now. OK. I'm going to go with... Again, it's a guess. I don't know the name mm. of the song. Um, I'm going to go with... Helium. For £2,500. Is helium tenable? <laughs> <laughs> That's untenable. Okay. Oh, Jody, you've lost your life now. Be careful I have, here. Yeah. Because an incorrect answer means you'll lose the money you've yeah. banked and you'll be in the vortex. I'm gonna, gonna take a seat. All right then, Jody. You've decided to take the money. We'll add the one thousand pounds to your prize fund, 
and you're guaranteed a place in the final with Darcy. Before we sit down, though, let's reveal these missing answers. What's behind number nine? Tin. Ten. Ten. Small Faces had a number nine hit with Tin Soldier. Number okay. six mm -hmm. is Neon. Neon Lights by Demi Lovato. Number five, Mercury. Block Party had a track called Mercury. Number four, Lithium. So that was a number 11 hit for Nirvana. Number two, Iron. Iron Lion Zion by Bob Marley and the Wailers. So there you go. That's the list. Okay. Well, Jody, you've done very well. You've added £1,000 <laughs> to your prize fund, giving your team a total of £3,500 and your return later on to play for it in the final. Let's hear it for Jody. We have one last list before Captain Darcy faces her tower and attempts to win back Bryony ahead of the final. Their prize fund currently stands at £3,500, but can they add to that pot? Now, Lisa, you're the only teammate left to play, so let's hope you're the right person for this one. Come and play Tenable. <laughs> Hello, Lisa. Hi, Welcome Warwick. again. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. So what do you do? Uh, I'm a retired psychiatric nurse. How interesting. Now, I hear you were born into Italian food. Yes, yeah. My father's Italian. Really? He's 90. Um, and I was brought up with um, uh, pizzas and pastas and things. He's Lovely. a great cook. Does he make really his own is. pasta? He has made his own pasta with one of the machines and things. Wow, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. I'm actually making a film about tinned Italian food. It's an alphabetic spaghetti western. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Lisa, let's get some bucks in that bank. <gasps> Here's your question. The ten largest cities in California by population. Now, I'll just clarify this for you. We're looking for the names of the ten largest cities in the state of California by population. This is according to population estimates for the 1st of January 2021 in a May 2021 press release by the California Department of Finance. Good luck, then. OK, thank you. Let's get your first answer on the board. OK. L.A., Los Angeles. Is Los Angeles tenable? <laughs> That's it. The population of just over 3.9 million. Well played, Lisa. OK, what's your next answer? <sighs> uh, Santa Monica. Is Santa Monica tenable? Untenable. Oh dear, oh dear. Santa Monica is a city, but its population is too low. OK. OK. Um, so you've lost your life. OK, I think I'm going to... Oh, gosh. I think I'm going to go for a nominate, Warwick. Who would you like to nominate? I'm going to nominate Lucy. Lucy, can you help? I think so. I hope so. Um, I'm going to say San Francisco. So that's what Lucy thinks. Yeah. Do you agree, Lisa? Yeah, I do, yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely, yeah. To keep you in the game, is San Francisco tenable? Yes. Well done, and that's correct. Well done. And well done, Lucy. Well done. Good use of the nominee there. <sighs> so, remember, you have lost your life, so be really careful. Yeah. I don't know if this is one, um, but I'm going to say San Diego. Let's have a look. To keep you in the game, is San Diego tenable? Yes. Yep, there it is, with a population of around 1.4 million. OK, so what's your next answer? It's going to be, I don't know, let's take a guess. Um, <sighs> San Paolo. OK. Once again, to keep <laughs> That sound means your daughter has hit the overall button. <laughs> or as we're calling it today, the that's a load of nonsense button. <laughs> Darcy, you don't like the sound of Mum's answer. 
No, Sao Paulo's in Brazil, I'm okay. I think. I think. <laughs> um, so, Darcy, you now have to give an answer to replace mums. What do you want to go for? I'm going to say Santa Barbara. Think in Santa Barbara? Yeah. Well, Lisa, before we see whether Darcy was right to overall, we have to see whether your answer is up there. OK. You said... San Paolo. OK, let's have a look. And we're hoping this isn't up there. Yeah. Is San Paolo tenable? It was untenable, which is a relief for you, Darcy. So you were right to overall. Now, Darcy, we need to see whether your answer is up there. You said... Santa Barbara. OK. Once again, to keep you in the game, is Santa Barbara tenable? Oh, oh dear, that was untenable. It is a city, but it's just too small. Well, Lisa, sadly, you haven't added any money to your prize fund or secured a place in the final. Bad luck. Before we say farewell, let's reveal these missing cities. Behind number 10 is... It's Anaheim. Number 9... Bakersfield. Number 8... Oakland. Number 7... Long Beach. Number 6... Sacramento. Oh, number 5 is... Fresno. And number 3... San Jose. San Jose. Do you know the way? Do you know the way to San Jose? <laughs> <laughs> I can even sing it. Well, Lisa, it saddens me to say, you are terrible at animal. Goodbye. <laughs> Coming up, can Captain Darcy show she's classy when she takes on her list? Brew, Lou, back in two. Welcome back to Tenable, where today's team have been ticking off our lists. There's just one more chance for the team to add to their yummy £3,500 jackpot, and this time it's down to their skipper Darcy to take on the tower. Now, Darcy, as you're the captain, you'll definitely be taking part in the final. But let's see if you can get your team in the best shape before you play for the jackpot. Come and play Tenable, Darcy. Well, Darcy. Hello, Captain Darcy. Hello. So happy with the team so far? Yeah, do you know, those two, especially girls, done an amazing job, but <laughs> equally the other two as well. I would love to win them both back if possible. Mm. I don't want to be too confident. Who would take priority? Probably my mum, just because more of a general knowledge. Um, mm. But then I feel bad for Bryony, so potentially get her back, because I don't think mm. I'll level it down if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Ms Darcy, it's time to play Tenable. Great. Here's how the game works. Just like the previous rounds, there's another potential £25,000 up for grabs. As always, you need five correct answers to get onto the money ladder. But this time, on your fifth correct answer, you'll have to decide whether to take the £1,000 for your prize fund or forego the cash to win back Bryony or Lisa. Now, they're waiting in the wings, desperate to help you win that jackpot, but first you've got to win them back. You've got one life, but your team have left you with no nominates. And, of course, you can't overrule yourself. Here's your question. Ten meanings of the letter D. Now, I'll just clarify this. The Tenable Tower will show you ten instances in which the letter D is used to represent a word. We're looking for the ten corresponding words that start with the letter D. So, here are your ten clues. In honour, DBE. In novelist, DH Lawrence. In netball position, GD. In political party, SDP. In word reference book, OED, in glowing electronic component, LED, in computer screen, VDU, in footwear brand, DMs, in computing file, PDF, and in Christian calendar year, AD. So there are your ten clues. Let's get your first answer on the board. OK. Uh, the first one I'm going to go for is uh, Napool position, GD. I think it's goal defence, so goal... Uh, sorry, defence. Is defence tenable? Yeah, that's up there. Well done. So that's the first step towards winning back your teammates. OK. 
Um, the next one I'm going to go for is a footwear brand, um, and I've got them on my feet, Dr. Martins, so I'm going to go Doctor. Is Doctor tenable? <laughs> yes, it is. Well done. Let's get your next answer. OK. I, in, in the in-word reference book, I think that's the Oxford English Dictionary. So I'm going to go with dictionary. Is dictionary tenable? <laughs> yes, it is. Good work, Darcy. Three correct answers on the board. You're doing very well. I'm going to go with digital because I think it might be an answer for a few of them. I'm going potentially the computer ones, the, the LED type ones, so I'm going to try with digital. Is digital tenable? <laughs> oh, Darcy, that's untenable. So you've lost your life. OK. Be careful, because you were doing so well. Yeah, I've got... I think I know a few others. I did think that was on there, though. OK, in computing file PDF, I think uh, the D is document. Is document tenable? <laughs> yes, it is. So PDF stands for Portable Document Format. So look at this. You're one away from £1,000 or the chance to bring back a teammate. OK. The SDP... Mm. I feel like, feel like it could be the Scottish Democratic Party. Um, I think that's going to be my best guess. So I'm going to go with Democratic. For £1,000 or the chance to win back a teammate, is democratic the fifth tenable answer? Yeah. So SDP actually stands for Social Democratic Party. That satisfying sound means you've got five tenable answers. Well done, Darcy. Oh. But now you need to decide. Do you want to take the £1,000 for your prize fund or win back Bryony or Lisa? I'm going to bring back my sister Bryony because one's just come to me, so I'm hoping I can then bring back my mum. So I'm going to go with Bryony for now and, fingers crossed, I can get my mum back too. Fingers crossed, Mum. <laughs> Congratulations, you're going to bring back Bryony. Yep. So that's four of your team in the final. Now, as always, you can play on. Another correct answer will put £1,000 into your prize fund or win back Mum. I'm pretty confident that it, it's display for either the one or the two of the computer ones. Remember, if this is wrong, Bryony will not be coming back. Go on, I'm going to go with display. I'm going with display. Yeah. So for £1,000 or to bring back Mum, is display tenable? Tenable. Well done, Darcy. <laughs> so, congratulations. Well done. Okay. So, now, would you like to bring back Mum? Yes, definitely. Congratulations. So, Thank you're you. going to bring back Lisa? Yep. That's all of your team in the final now. <sighs> now, as always, you can play on. Another correct answer will put £1,000 into your prize fund. But remember, an incorrect answer here means you'll lose Brani and Mum. Yep. I'm definitely not going to take the risk. They wouldn't forgive me if I didn't bring them back. Um, just, and I'm not bothered about them. Anyway, we just want to all get to the final, so... Oh. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop there. So you've decided to call it a day there. Yeah. But before you sit down, I'm sure you're curious to find out those missing answers. Yep. All right, let's have a look. In Christian calendar year AD, the D stands for... It's Domini. In glowing electronic component LED. Light-emitting diode. In novelist D.H. Lawrence, the D stands for David Herbert Lawrence. In honour DBE, the D stands for Dame. 
Well, unfortunately, Darcy, you failed to add any money to your prize fund, but you did manage to bring back Bryony and Lisa to help you in the final. That means all of you will be playing for the grand total of £3,500. Let's hear it for Darcy. <laughs> Coming up, the powers that be face their final list. Go on, quick number one, then back for fun. Welcome back to Tenable, where the pals that be have all their players in the final and are playing for this super smashing sum of £3,500. Well played, team. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Lisa, was there a moment you thought your daughter might not bring you back? Yes, I wasn't sure if she was picking Brownie over me. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping the peace. So has she chosen you out of loyalty or for your brains? For my brains, I'd like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, the pals that be, to take home that prize, this time you're going to have to give me every answer up there and achieve a perfect 10. Get 10 out of 10, and you'll be walking away with that fab £3,500. Well, the powers that be, it's time to face your final tower of 10. <laughs> For your final list, you have the choice of two categories. Let's take a look. Euro 2020 Shakespeare plays. So, team, what do you like the look of? What do we all think? Euro? Euros. I think Euro. Euro. So, team, what are you going for? Let's go with Euro 2020. OK, you're going for Euro 2020. From this point on, there is no conferring. On your turn, you will say one answer and nothing else. You've chosen Euro 2020. Let's reveal your final list of ten worth £3,500. The ten teams that scored the most goals at Euro 2020. I'll just clarify this for you. We're looking for the 10 men's national football teams that scored the most goals at the UEFA European Championships held in the summer of 2021. Own goals are counted as being scored by the nation credited with the goal. Goals scored as part of a penalty shootout are not included. Come on in, Darcy, please take your position. And when you're ready, please give me your first answer. France. Is France the first tenable answer? Yeah, that's there. Well done, Darcy. Lucy, please step forward. So what do you think about this question? Do you like football? I'm not really a football fan, no. Mm. So I'll, I'll give it a go. I'm going to say... Germany. Is Germany tenable? <laughs> oh, no, that's untenable, Lucy. Germany, we're just outside the top ten. OK. So I'm afraid we have to say goodbye to you. Thank you. <laughs> Bryony, please step forward. So you've lost a teammate. Mm. Mm. What's your answer? Going to go with Italy. Is Italy tenable? <laughs> yep, there it is. Well done, Brian. Jody, please step forward. So football your thing? Not particularly, but I did put a few bets on when this was <laughs> when this was on telly, so might have an answer. Yeah, what do you got? England. Is England tenable? <laughs> yeah, there it is. Well done. Lisa, please step forward. Elisa, you were brought back for your brains. Yes. Let's exercise them now. <laughs> Spain? Is Spain tenable? <sighs> yes, it is. Well done, Lisa. Darcy, please step forward. So, you're one teammate down. Yep. 
You're doing quite well. Okay. So what's your next answer? Portugal. Is Portugal tenable? Yeah, there it is. Well done, Darcy. Brownie, your turn. Halfway to that £3,500 jackpot. Yeah. We're going to go with Croatia. Is Croatia tenable? <laughs> yes, it is. Well done, Brian. Jody, please step forward. So, what's your next answer? Belgium. No hesitation. Is Belgium tenable? <laughs> yes, it is. Well done. Lisa, you're up next. Gosh. So, Lisa, how exciting is this? That's very exciting. You're just three correct answers away from a perfect <sighs> ten and £3,500. Yeah. What would you spend your share on? Oh, I think it'd be uh, great to go on a family holiday with the girls. Ah, uh, how nice. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say the Netherlands. Is Netherlands tenable? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Well done. Darcy, please step forward. So, looking good now. Two correct answers away from a perfect 10 and £3,500. Uh, Denmark. Is Denmark tenable? Oh. Yeah, well done, Darcy. Bryony, please step forward. Wow, Bryony, one answer to find there. Oh, okay. Can you be the teammate to give us that answer? I'm going to go with Czech Republic. So for a perfect 10 and £3,500, is the Czech Republic the final tenable answer? Untenable, Bryony. Okay. So I'm afraid we have to say goodbye to you. Thanks. Good luck, team. Thank you. Come on in, Jody. So, Jody, how are you feeling? Getting ready for a huge celebration? Well, hopefully, one left is hard. I don't, I don't think this is on the list. Um, but I'll give it a go. Sweden. For a perfect ten and three thousand five hundred pounds. Is Sweden the final tenable answer? <laughs> well, that was untenable. So, Jodie, we have to say goodbye to you. Okay. Thanks for playing. Lisa, come on. So, Lisa, you were brought back from the vortex yeah. for this moment. Uh, I'm going to say... Slovenia for a perfect 10 and £3,500. Is Slovenia the final tenable answer? <laughs> oh, oh, that was untenable. Oh, good luck, So, Darcy. Lisa, we have to say goodbye to you. Thank you. <laughs> Step forward, Darcy. Oh, dear, look at this. Your entire team have abandoned you. I know. OK. So have you got this final answer? I'm going to go with Norway. For a perfect 10 and £3,500, is Norway the final tenable answer? Darcy, that was untenable, which means, sadly, you haven't managed to top the tower and you won't be going home with that prize money.
That last answer was so elusive. And let's have a look. Number seven is... It's Switzerland. Don't think I'd have got that. No. Oh. Well, bad luck, team. We were a lovely team to have on the show today. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. By way of consolation, you'll each be heading home with a very special tenable tea towel. <laughs> so there you have it. These pals just ran out of power and head home empty-handed. Bad luck, team. Join us next time when five more contestants play tenable. Goodbye. <laughs>